hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to do a quick tutorial slash demo slash review on this hair color that i have here now i don't know how well you can see it because of the lighting i think you guys can see it pretty well when i yeah when i come up like that but anyway i wanted to do kind of like frosted purplish i don't know what color to call to this you know tips on my hair and a while ago I posted a picture on Instagram and I'll insert it somewhere here and everyone was like how did you get your hair that color without using permanent dye what is it can you do a tutorial blah 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 and this was I think this was before I even had um, a YouTube channel so anyways um I finally decided to do it again and I was like let me just go ahead and film it um, so I can show everyone you know how easy it is so let me just kind of jump into the review part really quick so the items that I'm gonna review are the are the, are the L'Oreal liquid hair chalk and the um, ion color brilliance metallics um, and both of these are they call them like liquid hair makeup or temporary hair color it's not even like a rinse it's like less temporary than even less temporary more temporary than um a rinse is so anyway basically the kind of gist or the general idea behind it is you can apply this to your hair and it washes out in one wash and i have used the liquid chalk before and it washes out in one wash so um like maybe i'll put like a blurb somewhere in here while i'm editing because i'm gonna wash my hair today i only wanted it in for a day but i'm gonna wash my hair and let you know how um this washes out because I mixed the two together and basically all I did was first I applied this which makes your hair like super silver gray which if you're going for like a gray look I know that's kind of on trend right now the gray hair um I actually haven't seen it in too long but anyways um I know that's kind of still on trend so if you want to try like temporary hair color for grays do this and um so yeah I applied this first and then I went back and you'll see this all in the like the tutorial part and then I went and applied just a little bit of this over it um and these are the results I got now quickly I do want to mention that both of these are extremely extremely drying which is why you're going to see me apply a leave-in to my hair as well as a butter and then I also applied an oil on top of it just because it's still a little lackluster once you take um you know once you kind of separate the curls because it's a it's kind of a drying product but um I kind of like that aspect of it because it acts as though it's a gel so it you know provides hold so um if you have straight hair or if you're trying to like do this to your straight hair I would not yeah this is my Harry Potter ringtone hold on hello ah all right bye Anyways, I'm not coming outside. Um, so <laughs> let me hurry up before he calls back. Um, so yeah, if you're putting this on straight hair, I don't, you know, recommend that at all. It's super sticky. It's mm -mm. and then also I notice in the directions they say once you apply this, um, to brush it out. Not nah, mm -mm. you gonna pull your hair out? Don't do that. So you'll see how I apply it. But um, yeah, like I said, I just wanted to get on here and show you how easy it is for you guys to do this. It's not hard at all. Um, all in all, as far as the review purposes, I would definitely purchase these again, except I think this is on clearance. So I don't know if they're bringing it back to Sally's, which is where I got both of these from, Sally Beauty Supply. This is in the clearance section. So I don't know if they're bringing it back. But um, I feel like if you have like straight hair, like this won't work for you. But it works amazingly for like natural hair on like a wash and go, twist out, um... Yeah, any style where you need some type of hold, these uh, work great for. So I definitely recommend them, but be forewarned, they are drying. So um, I think that's um, all I have to say. My hair isn't like dry feeling or anything like that. It just has, you know, nice hold and I definitely appreciate that. And like I said, once I kind of went in with the, um, what is it called? The oil, my wild berry growth oil. Um, yeah, any of the little like lacklusterness that I had once I took it out was gone. So, um, yeah, that's all I have to say. I clearly have somewhere to be. So, um, let's just go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. Okay, so here I am just kind of going through 
and slightly finger detangling and getting random pieces of lint out of my hair because apparently I'm a child and lint is attracted to my hair. So yeah, I'm just going through and like I said, just slightly finger detangling. And here I'm going to go ahead and add a leave-in as a moisturizer and I'm using the Berry Curly Pineapple Leave-In. I featured this stuff before so you guys know all about it. Um, of course, I love it. But so um, I'm just going to go ahead and apply that as a leave-in so that it can moisturize my hair and prep it for the um, product that I'm about to use now here I'm just gonna go ahead and gather my hair into like kind of a pineapple my hair was in a um, this is a stretch state it was in an old um, curl former set so this is why it's kind of stretched um, and also kind of like separated and chunky so like I said, I'm just going to gather that on top of my head. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's not like this is a pineapple that we're wearing out anywhere. So yeah, once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and separate my hair into um, a manageable section. I think I end up kind of working in sections of three. And here I'm just going to add the Berry Bliss Butter to my hair. And this is going to act as a sealant and protectant. So it's going to seal the moisture in my hair that I just installed with the leave-in. And it's also going to protect my hair from the dryness that the color chalk would you know bring to the ends of my hair because like I said um, in the beginning part of this video this stuff is really drying so I definitely recommend putting some type of moisturizer and sealant on before so yeah now here I'm just um, using the color ion first the gray I wanted to go for like a um, pastel type of color before I did like that very vibrant purple and that was just the color chalk by itself um, which is by L'Oreal but um, like I said I wanted to try something different so I'm starting out with the Ion color brilliant brilliance color brilliance and it's in the color silver streak I think is the name of it so yeah and um, I just want to show you guys you can see how um, you know the color payoff from one application so yeah I'm just gonna kind of speed through this next part cuz I'm gonna do the same thing okay now here I'm going to go in with the color chalk that's the purple and I'm only gonna apply the small amount because like I said I'm going for a pastel look so I don't want it as vibrant as it was in my Instagram picture so I'm just applying I'd say literally probably gosh a little bit less than a dime size amount to each section so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and distribute that through and repeat Now here I'm just going to go ahead and roll my hair. I chose to roll it in order to set it because I wasn't about to put like all this effort into doing a twist out when I knew I was gonna wash my hair in a couple of days. Um, so yeah. All right, now that that's done, um, you saw that my hands were super dirty, so I just was showing you guys that it, blah, 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 blah. I was showing you guys that it washes off really easily. I just used some Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap, and the color came right off my hands. So here is after my hair is dry. I just let it air dry. Um, I didn't sit up under, um, you know, like any type of dryer or anything like that because um, I didn't feel it was necessary and I'm not about to put my hair through all of that. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and take the rollers out and then separate. Yes, yeah, so you can see how nice and pastel-y 
<laughs> the hair came out. So I'm just gonna take that hairband off, get some of my wild berry growth oil, and rub it through my fingers, distribute through my ends, and um, make sure my fingers are coated so that I can separate my hair with and you know minimize any potential frizz. There's not gonna be any, but you know, I like to be extra and um, also like I said, this stuff is um, it kind of gives you like dull results when you kind of start separating it so the oil helps add a little bit of sheen back to your hair um, I ended up after I finished recording this I ended up going to back blah, 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 blah. I ended up going back to add more oil um, because I wanted it to be shinier it did why shut up Danielle I wanted it to be shinier it didn't look as shiny as I wanted it to so I added more oil later so um, yeah that's just a little quick tip for you guys add as much oil as you like don't overdo it because then it'll kind of dull down the color payoff but um yeah I mean that's pretty much it I position my hair how I wanted it to and um yeah that's it I loved the results that I got it was super cute I um, think it's a great way to kind of have a temporary change if you're going somewhere for an event or just you know want to be a little outside of the box so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye guys